President Obamacare forced her to take a government handout she never wanted. Charlene Hopkins first posted on Facebook, writing, quote, Oh, my God, the poor get poorer. I just received a notice. That her insurance was canceled. Her only options were buying a more expensive plan she could not afford or going on Medicaid. Her daughter took to the Wall Street Journal to tell her mother's story. Charlene Hopkins and her daughter, Nicole, join us now. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, let me start with you, Nicole, because you, you wrote this piece in the Wall Street Journal about your mom's experience because you were so horrified. This, this woman who you've known, who has been resistant her whole life to taking a government handout, government assistance through the form of Medicaid, you say has effectively just been forced to do it. Absolutely. I mean, literally, the website didn't give her an option other than Medicaid. And, um, you know, when we sat down and, and went through the actual application process, uh, we were on the phone and, and going through it um, on the website, there wasn't even a point where she could click cancel or, or opt out or anything. I mean, literally just the results showed up. It said, congratulations, uh, you've been enrolled. And it was, I mean, shocking just that she wasn't given any other option at all. I mean, there was there was no point where she could back out of it. So Charlene, that was shocking. I know that you you knew prior to Obamacare that if you wanted to go into Medicaid, you could, given your earning, uh, you know, your income. But you didn't want to do it. Why was that important to you? Because I like to be able to make my own choices, and I don't see government um, medical benefits as being any better than what I have, but yet worse. And so I would feel like um, a second-class citizen.